All right, so this is Roswell Thomas. Hi. Hey. Yes. Thomas. And he is he's a business guy. Oh, there's a lot of bikers in Phnom Penh, but he's probably one of the most. Just a biker in Phnom Penh? He's I've a biker. Bi I've been biking in Phnom Penh for five years. It's kind of a long time. But anyways, he's going to give as many tips as possible in the next 30 seconds on biking in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, because traffic here is nuts. It's not that nuts. It's pretty nuts compared to Western standards. We're gonna get a timer up on this side, and you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this. No one follows the rules very closely, their guidelines. Remember, if someone cuts you off, don't get mad. You see someone driving the wrong way up a wrong way street, you try it. Use, use bigger cars as shields. Some lights are more red than other lights. Some people are more serious about signaling than others. Watch out for getting stuck behind tuk-tuks. Know exactly where your vehicle ends. Watch out for people texting. Cops trying to pull you over, make eye contact, smile, speed up and dodge them in the street. Some situations are resolved by paying money. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact me. Uh, wear an undershirt if you're biking in traffic. That'll absorb all the sweat. Wear dark colors. Honestly, it's faster to get wherever you want to go on a bicycle than anything else in the city. Fuel, you don't have to pay for gas. I'm not even sure how much gas costs here. If you get lost, it's easier to pull a U-turn. Parking is easier on a bicycle. If you get a flat, you're never more than 50 meters from someone who can patch it really quickly. Be courteous. Be 20% more aggressive than you're in the mood for, unless you're a really aggressive person, in which case you need to calm down.